glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Deep-seated disdain, condescension, accusations of arrogance, all part of the Palmetto State battle between Clemson and South Carolina. Kickoff is coming up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's taken down at the 33. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. He's in trouble, and that one's incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Caught out in the open. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. Throws it to the outside. Thomas is intended to see the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Makes it out to about the 43. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Tackle around the 33-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Him open field and he tackles him hard at the 17 yard line they go with the option and pick up the first down yeah and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision Lambert takes the give what a play to set him up with a first and goal Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. 
They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Robertson, left side. Touchdown, Tigers. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's check out what's going on in University Park. And for SMU, they've won eight games on the season. SMU puts it away and wins by 20. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Coleman is lined up to kick this one off. Patrick deep to return. Tackle made at the 30. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Three down, three down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Ready and hot. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Murphy gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 34. and he's got his man. He's tackled the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. They make the stop at the 39. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Brown, the return man. And he muffed it. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Clemson is up a score. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Sacked on the play. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. McCollum, back deep to return. McCollum takes it at the 45, and he's taken down at the 44. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the 37. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Six-yard line. Quick 
strike and he drops it. But if you missed a long field goal try, you give your opponent great field position. Punting would allow you to pin them deep and rely on the defense. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He makes his way to about the 18. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. He fights forward to about the 16. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. We played one. The Tigers lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's shoved out of bounds at the eight-yard line. That screen gets around six. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. And for Texas Tech, they're trying to put a stranglehold on this game. Texas Tech leads it 31-28. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. They'll bring him down at the 35. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Clemson is up four. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Throws a strike over the middle. That makes it first and ten. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Fires incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. And they've got the dive package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Pass complete and taken down immediately. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25. Mike 
He's got an opening. He gets to about the 41-yard line. and looking to run and down he goes the 47 yard line so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first tackle made around the 41 yard line It's not complete again to his tight end. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 30. it left side and he's brought down in the backfield that was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play Play is number eight on the drive. He delivers. Complete. Touchdown, South Carolina. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. It might not be the most well-known trophy, but is there a better name for a trophy than the Bayou Bucket? Houston and Rice set the square off. The Owls strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. A touchdown apiece, 7-7. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. South Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Wide open to the tight end, and he let it go through his hands. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Clark was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Coleman to punt. McCollum fields at the 42, and down he goes at the 47. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 
South Carolina is up by three. Ready, ready, on. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. at the 41. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 41-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Slings it. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. A four play, 52 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now 17 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taylor from the six. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. They gained five yards there. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. From the 47-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick pass, and they make the stop at around the 38-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 38-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at the 24. That makes it first and 10. With the pass incomplete. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. He throws left. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He'll return it from the six. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. South Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. 
Does it get any better? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's out to the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. South Carolina is up seven. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. down around the 48 yard line and he carries the ball for a nice game that makes it second and six from the 48 yard line Second down. Larry, Larry, Larry. 24 on the move. 24. Let's go. He makes his way to about the 38. Scrambling. And he's tackled around the 33 yard line. That's good for a five yard loss. That brings him second and five. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 22. South Carolina is up a score. And a quick throw. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From the 11-yard line, second down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This one should be makeable. South Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, what a great trophy name. The Bayou Bucket. Houston Rice ready to go at it. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Houston, they're looking to win their third straight. Houston has the edge, 14-10. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Rivers has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. 
across the 30. Tackle made at the 34. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Six-yard line. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out at about the 49. First and ten, ball on the 49-yard line. Here's an opening, and he hits him hard at the 39. for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. to score. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. South Carolina's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Cougars hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Rice leads it 24-21. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. 
at the 30. Across midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 33-yard line. The Gamecocks defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. From the 33-yard line, second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. decided to go for it here. Defense and their short yardage package. And down he goes at the 23. That's good for a gain of one yard. Let's go, D. First down. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Caught open field. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. run to the outside there's a player hurt it doesn't look to be that bad first down 10 to go ball on the 10 yard line touchdown Tigers Spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves throwing up plays for this guy. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. It might not be the most well-known trophy, but is there a better name for a trophy than the Bayou Bucket? Houston and Rice set to square off. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Houston, a win today gives them nine wins on the season. Bowling's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. The Cougars on top, 28-24, early in the third quarter. Ten-point game here, Reese, 27-17. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. The Tigers came in here with a nationally ranked defense. They haven't looked like a nationally ranked defense to me. Well, Brad, I don't think they're playing with the normal focus that we've seen from this team. We've seen backs at times that are breaking open. Wide receivers are making plays over the top of defensive backs. They're just not as dialed in as they normally are. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Just under three to go Here in regulation. Go. Murphy gets the call. Tackled after decent pickup.
tackle around the five-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 36-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. South Carolina kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Just under two to go in the game. Slings it. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there, going to the air on first down. They come out on an empty backfield. He fires right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's going to go for the home run. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. From the 16-yard line, second down. Short over the middle. The five brought down at the three-yard line. Game 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Tigers were ranked 19. Another W might have them moving up the chart with a bullet. And for Missouri, they've won six in a row. And for Lawrence, he threw for more than 200 yards. The Tigers top it off with a seven-point win. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he's level at the 29-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. 
it can really open up things for the offense. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. He makes his way to about the 18. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Get him in the backfield. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 34-24. South Carolina. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? South Carolina comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.